say the package contains pods. Yeah, I don't even get any draw. Oh, oh right, here we go. There we go. So we've got that strange, they don't have SMG yeah. pods, but they're... So we've got a lovely surface mount, little trimmer pot there. Looks beautiful, gonna go with that. Okay, now all of my components now have footprints. And I can double check if I look at this. In other words, they're not black. If they're black, they haven't got a footprint. If they're blue or green, they have a footprint. They have real copper prints on the board. So this one is a one, two, three, four, five, so 14 pin dip package. For my IC. All my connectors here have got footprints, so I haven't got any simulatable components. They're all ways and means of being able to solder things onto the board. Mike, you want a probe point in there anyway? Yeah, we can add a, a, a probe point if we wanted, like you saw the... Um, we'll, we'll put a pin in for the ground because uh, I know we've got the connector there, but let's just have a something we can put the oscilloscope uh, ground pin onto. Okay, let's, let's do a... Uh, I'll, I'll add another... We'll do a through hole one. Uh, a, uh, it's on connectors, so go connectors right to the bottom. No, it's just on general connectors right to the bottom. So we're on connectors. All families. Right to the bottom. Yeah, just a pad there somewhere. Yeah, That's there we it. go. Test point SMT, test point through hole. So we'll stick a through hole one up there. And we'll yeah, put stick that one. on our output, shall we? Yeah. Stick that on our output. Connect it up. We we'll double click it to check what package it's got. You can see it's got a single hole. Beautiful. Yeah? Okay. So now our circuit is ready to import into the program called multi board. Okay, obviously you're going to save that. And you're probably going to save it more than once because you know that multi sim, or some of you will have seen errors from multi sim. So save that as project one, project two, project three, whatever. Because you may need to come back to it. Because when you go off to your PCB, you may find that you haven't put the right footprint down. Because you can't see the footprint until you make the PCB, and you may want to uh, revert. Well, you can't make a change in this window that then changes the PCB live. You can't do it. So all you can do is export to Altiboard, Modify an multi board, and if you're not happy with the components, you've got to go right back to the beginning and start again from the circuit diagram. That's one of the drawbacks. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to take this information from our schematic and it's going to drop everything onto a PCB, a blank PCB board, um, where we will need to place the components and connect them together. So, to do that, I hit this transfer and I transfer to multi board. And I press the transfer to all This is the exciting bit, isn't it? Yep. It's going to ask for a new, uh, a what's called an EW net file, which is a list of all your nets that's been computed by Multisir. A net is a connection between two pins. Okay, these are all the items that the Multisir has found that needs to be imported onto my board. So I'm just, I'm just going to click OK to everything. Now it's given me a board here. This yellow, as you can see down here, where it says PCB, it has a whole load of, of, of information. What these are layers. PCBs work on layers. Normally the makeup of a PCB is you have, you have a core, and then on top of that core you'll have some copper that's, that's typically etched, and then on top of the copper you'll have a layer of solder mask, and on top of the solder mask, you'll have an IDET printed on it. Um, so, to break that down a bit further, the first thing you have to do is choose what kind of board you want. A single-sided, a double-sided, maybe I can draw that on the board. Yeah, that's probably much better right there. That's what you did last year as well. And I'll swing the camera around on it. 